So happy to see you tonight on this new Facebook page, Grada Robertson, and tonight I'm coming to you as your self-sabotage coach. <clears throat> I love the subject of self-sabotage because, um, sorry, okay, um, something just popped up on my screen. So I love the subject of self-sabotage. It's fascinating because this has been something that I've been involved in for 40 years, of course. First in my own life, how I sabotaged myself. And, and then um, I specialized, I started to specialize it in it with my clients. A sabotage is something that trips you up over and over again. So let's say uh, we say to ourselves, <clears throat> can be a really good thing like I'm going to have my iodine every day from now on because I want to have more energy or I'm going to really focus on getting a promotion at work and uh, I'm going to go to bed early so that I'm really clear during the day so that can be a good goal or you can have a goal like I want to release five kilos over the next three months something like that so we're talking about really outcomes for you here right that makes your life better that gives you an upgrade but what happens is uh, usually a few weeks down the track be back to square one or you might lose 10 kilos and you put 15 back on that's called a sabotage right so or you aiming for a promotion at work and uh, suddenly you, you go out all weekend and you um, you rock up for work on Monday and and you're missing the boat and so on. These are all very, very clear sabotages. And we also, of course, have very subtle sabotages. And so I want to go into that a little bit tonight because we all love the idea of free will, right? Free will is that uh, a space in your life where you can make a choice and it's yours and you feel like I've taken ownership of this choice. I have free will and I can create the life that I want to have. But in reality, we actually have two minds, right? The two minds, we actually have three minds, but tonight I just want to talk about our two minds that we're dealing with while we're in the human body. So we're experiencing life as a human, we're in a human suit, I call it. We're dealing with our um, left brain or our um, conscious mind and then we're dealing with our subconscious mind. And nobody actually learns much about the subconscious mind, which is a pity because do you know what? It takes up 93% of you. If you were to measure the subconscious mind on a good day, it's 93% of you. So that means you only have 7%, which is tiny, um, that, that decides where you want to go. So the conscious mind sets the goal. So the goal can be, I want to find my soulmate. I um, want to lose seven kilos. I'm going to stop drinking. I'm going to quit smoking. You've heard it all before. That's a conscious decision. So on a good day, you have like 7% kind of, I guess you would say willpower. And it's 93% of you that goes, well, it actually doesn't hear it even a lot of the time. So tonight I want to break it down for you so you can reach your goals a bit better, right? So the conscious mind lives as if you don't have a subconscious mind, right? So, uh, and we, we do because, let's say, if you go, I'm going to release seven kilos over the next two weeks. And it was just depending on that decision you would go ahead and do it, right? You would lose those seven kilos and you'd feel great. But in reality, what happens is suddenly you feel hungry, you go to the fridge, you see a piece of cake. Before you know what you've done, your hand has gone into the fridge and it's gone into your mouth and now you're eating the cake. So, and this is called a sabotage. So how do we deal with our subconscious mind? Yeah, I meant to say on a bad day, like when, you, when the fear is running the show, and a lot of us have fear running the show, your conscious mind actually really moves out of the way and it shrinks to about 2%. So it, now it's just a tiny dot on the back of the elephant, right? And this dot is, could be like an ant 
it thinks it's heading north, but the, and so it's running north and, you know, putting all this energy out, but the elephant is actually heading south. So this is what happens to us a lot. Okay, so I want to um, take you through a meditation tonight that's going to really calm your subconscious mind down so your subconscious mind gets the message. Your subconscious mind will get the message when you feel calm. Repetition, repetition, repetition is really important. So meditation is great. And if you do the same meditation, say 30 days, well, they actually say 20 six minutes per day every day for 30 days you can change your pattern but i also like to include energy and so when you use energy you can break through your patterns like your holding patterns a lot quicker okay so um basically the conscious mind tends to dwell in the front of your in like behind your forehead and so this is the part of our brain that allows us to make good decisions that create a good life for you when we run on the back brain so that's here so if you were to you know go inside your skull that's the survival brain or your limbic system you might have heard of the limbic system and that is the part of the brain that gets you running on that hamster wheel right so you're just going um being busy all the time not thinking because literally you can't think and that's not how you reach your goal because while that's running the show your unconscious mind goes, okay, I'll just go back to my old patterns. I'll just do what I've always done. That worked well. It kept her safe. She's still alive. We'll just keep doing what we're doing. So it overrides everything that you're trying to put in. So tonight we're going to just allow you to break through that pattern and get your two minds to talk to each other, right? Um, so the the conscious mind, of course, you're used to that, that's your thinking, um, your psychological processes, your habitual thinking, and the subconscious mind loves pictures, it loves images, that's why visualization is so good. It um, talks to you through feelings and sensations and all your senses as well, so like what you smell and what you hear and so on. So tonight I'm going to do a meditation with you that really lights up your whole subconscious mind. And before we do that, I want you to think uh, of a goal or something that you really want for yourself that would be just wonderful for you to have in your life and you haven't got it yet, right? So just go ahead and think of something that you would love for you to have for yourself, right? So there can be a dream house, or it can be um, a new boyfriend, or you know, uh, a better relationship, an extra hundred dollars in the bank every week. It can be big or small. So just go ahead and think about it now. It can be like a better relationship with one of your children, or one of your siblings. So like that you want something in your life restored. So you can pause the video when you watch the replay and just take some time thinking of what you desire for you, what, what would really create a positive change in your life that would give you a lot of happiness and fulfillment. It can be in better health, right? Uh, more respect, more confidence. So just think about that. And once you've thought about it, you can also write it down. Because when you write your um, intention down for yourself, uh, that in itself already creates a huge success rate, which is very strange, but it's just the action. The universe knows you've taken the time and the action to put your intention down. So you mean business and the universe matches your intention, that signal. Okay, so first of all, what I want you to do is put one hand on your forehead, which is where your conscious mind is, and straight away, that will give you 7%, like 7% discernment, 7% uh, perception. And I want you to put your other hand on your tummy. You can't see me doing it, but I've got my hand on my tummy now. And just inhale through your nose and feel the touch of your body, of your hands on your body, 
especially notice your hand on your tummy and you can close your eyes and bring to mind your wish for yourself something that you wish for you that would really make you feel so happy right and now you can even think but i'll say it for you um and you hear me say i know that there are two parts of me that haven't talked to each other for a while and these two parts haven't been in alignment and that's one of the reasons why i have been stuck in a holding pattern i haven't been moving forward I'm sorry that I haven't listened to both parts and I'm now listening to the two parts of me. And so your body knows that this is true. So breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And then swap your hands. So we're going to do the opposite. So each hand has its own polarity and energy. Think of your wish, your goal for yourself. And we're connecting the two minds together so they start to communicate easier. So there is more trust in your body. The trust level is restored. So for instance, you could be somebody who's struggling with really bad health or you're having a health scare like even cancer for instance and you want to be cancer free. You can say to your body, I'm sorry that I haven't been listening to you. And I know now that there are two parts of me that haven't been talking to each other. They haven't been listening to each other. And I'm prepared to listen now to both parts. Because I want to live in harmony. I want to live to my highest purpose. And I love honor and respect every part of my being and just notice the energy or the pressure of your hand maybe you feel it more on your forehead or you can feel it more in your tummy and so now this has already created a change in your body like and you can keep your eyes shut while you listen to me it's created a chemical change that allows a bridge between the conscious and the subconscious mind so they start suddenly not fighting anymore suddenly you have more free will more space to make good choices if you do that every day you start to correct trust in yourself so just relax your hands and just put your hands on your heart now that's easier and i'm going to invite you to close your eyes and if you watch the replay um yeah, you can do this as often as you like during the week to accelerate happiness and success in your life. So the con unconscious mind, before I do the meditation, I just want you to re be reminded that your subconscious mind has a direct highway connection to the invisible world, to the spirit world, to the universe, to whatever you like to call it, right? So that's the beauty of the subconscious mind, the elephant, so to speak. So wouldn't it be amazing if that little ant could understand the subconscious mind and they can, you know, sit together, draw up your ideal future, and both of them are walking in the right direction, in the direction where you want to be, so you reach your goals really, really easy. So that's what we're going to achieve now. So just close your eyes again, feel really relaxed, and start uh, connecting or start thinking of the universe as a beautiful, big, infinite light, the light of infinite consciousness. And allow that to just drop in through the top of your head, through here, which is the crown chakra, into the back of your body. And just see it or sense it. And as it drops into your head, it's clearing all the blockages inside your body, the blockages to deep knowing, all the blocks you have to feeling and connecting to all that is. So just allow the light of the universe to come into your body and heal your body and connect you to the light and clearing the blocks to all that is. All the blockages you may have 
towards truth and towards all the good in your life that you might feel. Now allow the light to come into your third eye which is just above your eyes in the middle of your forehead and you have your divine eyes there so allow that light from the universe to drop into your third eye and allow it to cleanse the lens there so you can see clearly you have the power of perception you have the power to see things for what they really are and just breathe into your body Allow that beautiful light of the universe to come into your ears so you can listen and hear and understand the reality, the real reality and know truth, so you know truth. Allow that beautiful light of the universe to drop through your throat, the throat chakra and I'm blocking anything that might stop you from communicating easily to yourself, to all the parts of you and to others. So you can express what you truly want and have clarity around it with ease and comfort. So just breathe into your body and allow that light to drop further into your thymus gland which is here your immune system, clearing any blocks or any threats to your immune system, allow the light of the universe to do that. And then drop through into your heart and feel into your capacity to love, to receive and allow the light of the universe to clear any blocks, any heart walls, any walls you might have erected around your heart that are blocking the flow of love. Just allow the light to dissolve those blockages. Allow the light to drop into your solar plexus, which is like your stomach area. And there is another big center there that's to do with how you show up into the world. And allow the light of the universe to clear any blockages that are to do with you not feeling good enough, as if you're not measuring up, because you are perfect. You are enough. Just feel that in your body. Allow your body to accept that message. And then you drop further through into the sacral chakra. That's where your reproductive area is. And the sacrum, that whole area of your pelvic. And allow the light of the universe to clear any blockages there. To do with your creative power. Your power to create life on your terms. If there's any blockages of shame or guilt, they can go now. And just allow the light to drop through into your base chakra. So your base chakra is like the root system of a tree. And just imagine a tree with big branches and the roots are always twice as wide as the tree branches are itself. So just visualize your roots go really really wide and deep and the roots are to do with your health and abundance so just allow the light of the universe to travel through your body clearing any blockages or sabotages that trip you up allow the light of the universe to dissolve all that now and then you connect with a light deep in the center of Mother Earth. Just see a, a tiny little light and you're drawn to it and then it gets bigger and bigger. And that is the point of uh, infinite consciousness in the, in the center of Mother Earth. And you know now that you're always connected to that. So just allow the light of that to come up through your base chakra to come up through the sacral chakra, your solar plexus, your heart, your thymus gland, your throat, your third eye, your ears, your crown chakra and allow that to shower out and around your whole energetic field. And just clearing any blocks to your heart's deepest wish. 
Just allow the energy to take care of that. And just feel your light now shining brightly. Feel it all around you, 360 degrees. Allow it to get bigger and brighter and shine out and encompass your family, your friends, your community, your city, your country, the world, the whole globe, the universe. And feel that beautiful connection with all that is. So you are infinitely powerful. You do have free will. When, when your minds, all your minds are in alignment and they're talking to each other with respect and appreciation, you can move mountains. And you're here to move mountains. So just breathe into your body and out. You can shift and uncreate anything that's blocking you from, from love and happiness and abundance and connection and perfect health and success. So just breathe into your body. And the good thing is that when you're breathing, the breath is real. It always is real. It connects us to what is, to the truth of everything. So just breathe into your body and out. And we're anchoring this signal, this new signature, you, this new energetic you, into the universe. So your goals and your wish are flowing through you easier. And so when you're ready, you can just come back in behind your eyes and still feeling very, very calm and peaceful and connected, you can open your eyes and come back into the room. And so this is like a, a mini tune-up that you can listen to once a day for the next seven days and notice how your external circumstances will change. They will literally li uh, realign themselves so that you can um, reach your goals easier or your wish, the wish that you had. And you can change um, your wishes as well. So like what you were thinking of tonight might change tomorrow. It might be different tomorrow. So feel free to play around because playing around and staying curious and uh, helps you to be open to the universe so that it's easier for you to receive all the good things that are coming your way. So thank you for tuning in and doing this and stay in a nice relaxed um, stay in this beautiful, nice, relaxed bubble so you can have a good sleep tonight and so you begin to really trust in yourself as well. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing you next Monday night. And if you have any issues or questions around energy work or success, or if you want to create a miracle in your life, just send me a message and I will be able to help you. Or we can share something on Facebook as well. So. I'm really looking forward to your input and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Have a really, really good sleep tonight. Bye-bye.